Diachoria wedi chi uh, am y cyfriniad. Fel pwysach chi'n newyddiad dyrrwr oni, a dwi'n dawr nhw'n fath o newyddiad dyrrwr, a does dan byd diarth i newyddiad dyrrwr mewn sefyll o flaen lot o bobl sy'n nhw bod llawer mwy am bwnc nag y mae o. Ond ym waith i y di, dros drio ar waith sabodaeth rhyw ar i ni symud ymlaen o'r ynda ni di glywed bore yma thri o meddwl am rei ar y tebion, ac am be fyddai ni, be fyddai chi eisiau weld mewn papur gwyn, fyddai wedyn falle gobeithio yn arwain ar ddeddf, a sut mae fynd o'i chwmpas i, ac mae gennym ni banel o bethdwar fan hyn, sy am arwain y drafodaeth, ond ar y llaw arall, Mae'n bwysig iawn iawn, ac mae chi i gyd yn cymryd rhan, dyna di holl bwynt y sesiwn yma, felly fydd fyddai yn cymryd, os oes yna gwestynau, mi'n newn ni gymryd nhw neu, neu sylwadau, mi'n newn ni gymryd nhw trwy'r amser, felly ni daros tan, tan y diwedd ac ofyn i chi am y sylwadau. Felly pan ydyn ni'n trafod unrhyw faes neu gilydd, mae gennych chi bwynt i'w wneud neu gwestiwn i'w godi, prys godwch y llaw, ac mae'n neud drio rhoi cyfle i chi fel bod, fel bod ni gyd yn ymuno yn y sgwrs. Um, Trwy lwc mae ma, ma gymdeithas wedi darparu taflen sy'n rhoi crynodeb i chi o pwyddydi'r pedwar. Felly does dim rhaid i fi mae'n gwirionedd i, I cyflwyno nhw. Um, ond y pen yma mae John Griffiths, i lot sy'n efo dyn yn cras newydd, sy'n hefyd yn gadu newydd, pwyllgor llywodraeth leol a thai y senedd. Nesa, atsygo, mae Alicia Saletinka sydd yn gweithio fy tai pawb ac wrth gwrs mae nhw mydiad sy'n... sy'n pwysleisio tegwch yma eis tai. Mae'r gwna pwynfa'r, efo sy'n efo dwi'n ddwyrnyddio fe, da chi wedi clywed gynnyfol eisoes, a Wallace George hefyd wrth gwrs uh, ar ran y gymdeithas. Dwi'n mynd mynd, fe sydd wedi'n harlo fi yn ystod y bore, <coughs> ar wahan i'r holl syniadau posib sy'n wedi codi ar holl, yn hanol diwch y sefyllfa ar holl posib, posibiliadau sy'n yna. Um, yn bod ni'n trafod pethau sy, sy ar yw rhyw falan sydd yn nhw'n de. Lle da ni'n trafod pethau fel hawliau unigolion ar un llaw a hawliau cymunedol ar y llall sy'n cynnwys diwylliant ac iaith ac yn y blaen. A tebion dros dro i leffu beth sy'n digwydd ar hyn o bryd, ond hefyd yn bwysig iawn iawn bod ni'n chwilio am y tebion tymor byr, y tymor hir yw datrys nhw. Bod eisiau, bod eisiau cael y system bresennol i weithio yma, eisiau bod ni hefyd eisiau newid y system honno. A gwneud gwahaniaeth sylfaenol i strwythu'r yma, ac i'r berthynas rhwng angen cyhoeddus ac elw preifat. Ond ar rhaid e, bydd ni eisiau rhoi rhoi yn cael bwyntio a beth sydd i angen mewn deddf neu bapur gwyn. A Pethau all, falle, gorfodi rhai, pethau galliogi a sbardino, pethau eraill. Felly, dyna dyr syniad, a da ni'n gofyn i chi yn mynd, dwi'n ofyn i ddechrau, um, gan bod John Nyffys yn garedig iawn yn mynd o nofwyr y uh, gynhadledd yma, sy'n ni'n licio gofyn i ddyfor rhoi ychydig sylwadau a goriadol, beth bynnag, yn mynd yn sadwyn tywar y pwnc. Ia, wel, prynhau'n dda, Dwi'n um, dwi siarad Cymraeg ges blynydd oed yn y cynigliad um, Senedd Rwan, ond dwi ddim yn rhygo eto. Uh, felly uh, byddai un um, siarad yn, yn Saithneg. <laughs> yeah, I've been learning Welsh for a long time, but uh, I'm not um, fluent yet, unfortunately, so uh, I'd better stick to English. Um, I, first of all, thank you very much for the invite um, to come along. Um, I hear you've had a good day up to now with lots of interesting contributions, much of it about um, communities across Wales and um, what people feel in terms of housing need and, um, you know, really fleshing out what the issues are. Um, and as a committee, our local government and housing committee, we've very much approached housing in Wales from that point of view really, wanting to hear from communities and stakeholders as part of evidence gathering for whatever inquiry or scrutiny we're undertaking so that um, you know it does have that feel of being bottom up and um, allowing, enabling that understanding of what really matters to people in Wales in terms of housing need. 
And we start from, I suppose, the very obvious premise, really, that housing is an absolute basic, that um, for all aspects of life, you need good quality housing. Um, it's so important for health, it's important for education, it's important for people's sense of just having a solid base from which to sally forth into the world, really. So, you know, housing uh, is an absolute priority for, for the committee and uh, indeed for Welsh Government. Um, and the agreement between the Welsh Government and Plaid Cymru as well. So, um, you know, it, it is at the centre, I think, of what's happening uh, in the Senate. But obviously there are many different aspects to it. So as a committee, we've said that we'll have an overarching approach in terms of appropriate housing. But there are many different aspects of that, you know, the social housing, um, private rented sector, rough sleeping and homelessness, um, issues around second homes um, in Wales, um, the new sustainability agenda. There are so many different strands to it. We've done quite a lot of work, particularly on rough sleeping and homelessness. Um, and at the moment, we're dealing with legislation in terms of committee time. Um, more than anything else because you know that, that's something that we have little choice about really it's part of the, the Senate processes but once we get beyond that early next year we intend to return to housing and look at the private rented sector in a bit more more detail so um, just to say really that you know housing will continue to be a priority for the committee and it's not just about producing reports and then forgetting about them, you know, we do intend to go back to reports and recommendations uh, and hold Welsh Government to account in terms of whether what they've said in their response and their acceptance of recommendations is actually happening, actually being delivered on the ground. So it's future work that we do, but also making sure that previous work, um, you know, is really having an impact. Ond ydych chi wedi clywed eisoes gan Walisa am Abon, ond ydych chi ddim wedi clywed gan Alicia, felly dwi'n meddwl i'n ei hefyd roi eich chi bach o sylwadau a goriadol i ni. Diolch yn fawr iawn am y gwahoddiad. Mae'n blesur i bod yma heddiw ar ran personeriaid bach o bil Taifog, CIH Cymru a Shelter Cymru. Well, I think we've heard a lot of stories today, and very different stories from my perspective as well, about the worsening housing situation um, um, in Wales. For me, what really kind of struck me today is the, the, the fact that different communities are experiencing different problems. Uh, some of them are, are, them, uh, are similar, uh, second homes, you know, the use of um, Airbnbs and so on. Uh, but um, it, in a way, they're all symptoms of a much, much wider uh, problem. Um, and uh, that is a housing emergency, that is long-term underinvestment in housing, and it, it is commodification of um, housing as well, which uh, we have heard about quite a lot today. So I thought I'll talk a little bit about um, our campaign, Back the Bill uh, campaign. Uh, you can see a little bit about that um, in the prospectus for today and um, um, over there. Um, the, the coalition comprising of the organisations I mentioned, uh, we've got colleagues from Shelter Company here today and my colleagues from uh, Taipao as well, uh, calls for incorporation, the incorporation of international uh, right to adequate housing into Welsh law. Uh, what we're looking for is a, a, a radical reform and nothing less. Uh, back the bill uh, proposals uh, for, for the right um, aren't about kind of tinkering about the edges uh, of a system that has been uh, uh, creaking uh, at the seams for, for years, but uh, a fundamental change, uh, not only in how we see housing, uh, but change on a scale that we haven't really um, seen for decades. Um, and first and foremost, we want uh, right to adequate housing to be embedded into law so that um, Welsh Government formally commits itself and future governments, importantly, because everything could change in 10, 20, 30 years' time, 
to systematically uh, a planning, delivering, uh, and, uh, and systematic progress towards a world where everyone has a, a, a suitable home. It is not a change that would happen overnight, um, but it is all about uh, upping, upping the, the priority placed on enabling everyone to have a good home uh, and keeping all future governments uh, foot on the pedal. Uh, and that kind of upping the priority over time uh, and introducing that change over time, backed by law, uh, is what we call progressive realisation. We can't get there um, overnight. Uh, we'll get there over time, uh, and that is also uh, in our proposals backed by a long-term plan, a housing rights strategy, uh, which the um, government would be accountable for, they would have to report on progress against it, it would have to be costed, and it would be challengeable uh, uh, um, legally um, as well. Uh, right to adequate, uh, adequate housing provides stronger framework uh, um, for, uh, for example, other legislation, other proposals that can further people's housing rights, like the Property Act, for example. Um, and it recognises the, the conditions necessary for people to, to thrive. Um, it would, I think, crucially drive a large-scale large, large scale investment in uh, social housing. We know, for example, that uh, since, uh, and other forms of housing actually, um, I think it was really interesting today to, to hear about uh, you know, the cooperatives, CLTs and various, you know, a whole diversity of approaches that we could adopt in Wales, you know, learning from Europe and other countries um, as, a, as well as uh, amongst ourselves. Um, um, what, what we know is that in Wales, uh, um, on average, around 2% of, of the budget um, is committed to, has been committed to housing since 2006. Now that is not really a priority that we should be uh, putting in an area where um, uh, we can see probably the, the biggest kind of crisis in decades. That's what we hear from our colleagues in housing associations and local authorities and homelessness charities and, and people um, on the ground, really. And we've heard a lot about that um, today. Uh, one of the key tenets of the right to adequate housing, and that's included in our um, draft bill as well, is the use of maximum available resources. Um, so, it, uh, the, the law we drafted asked the government to use maximum available resources um, to, to address uh, the housing crisis but to basically fulfil uh, people's rights to a home um, over time and that is subject to legal um, scrutiny as well. If those resources are not used, um, if there's no kind of impact assessment, then that needs to be um, justified. Um, um, I think, just concluding my very long introduction probably, I, I think that, that the work of uh, both Shat Trevi and uh, Kondathas uh, Ariaith uh, is, is a feat um, of communities uh, really gathering uh, together uh, uh, to, to help uh, shape and create um, a better future for themselves and for future generations. I think we need more of that. Uh, 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 there's a, a significant positive crossover uh, between um, um, our campaign, between Back the Bill and uh, uh, the proposed uh, Property Act, and um, uh, I think uh, a current, uh, a sort of current policy and uh, political kind of engagement, development uh, going on in both areas. Uh, so there's a, there's certainly a lot of potential uh, uh, for further uh, exploration of what we can do and where do we have a, a shared vision. I think we have a shared vision anyway. Uh, Shared solutions that I pay the stage. John, I would like to ask you and have you been for them? Have you been looking for them? in Europe, as in the Italian and Angian Sylvainal. When for the team, I mean, my best are can we skip the film? No, 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 no. 
Well, as a committee, of course, <coughs> we take evidence and um, we, we work with Welsh Government. Um, so, in our report on um, a right to adequate housing, um, we suggest that the Welsh Government does a lot more work and commissions work to look at the different options and how matters would best be taken forward and consider the evidence that we had as a committee. Um, but, you know, lots more engagement beyond that in working at um, the white paper. Um, so, you know, the Green Paper consultation is closed, that's being analysed. Um, I'm not quite sure what um, that would have shown at, uh, at this stage. Um, but, you know, th there's a lot of further work to be done around all of this. And that concept, as Alicia said, of progressive realisation, I think is really important because, um, you know, we need to work towards the standards um, that we'd like to see over a period of time. Um, so there's nothing cast in stone at the moment. Um, you know, it's, um, I think, very useful to have that um, goal of adequate housing, um, work towards it, and then have, you know, lots of stage and posts in between. And I think we're in that process at the moment, you know, having had the green paper, white paper to come. Um, the committee is very much in favour of the, you know, the back the bill <coughs> campaign um, and the importance of having that, um, that ambition, that aim of adequate housing. Um, but, you know, there's a lot to be fleshed out yet and that's why we need much more engagement, I think, as the process unfolds with everyone here and um, communities and stakeholders right across Wales. But I believe there's a hint in law and there's some law. If it's a hint in law and there's some law, I'm going to have a year about Anglia so they know. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, it is a fundamental need and we're nowhere near where we need to be in Wales at the moment in terms of meeting housing need, you know, in terms of affordability, which has become even more of an issue with the cost of living crisis uh, in recent times, in terms of the standard uh, of housing, um, the sustainability in terms of climate um, change challenges, and, you know, the right type of housing in the right place. You know, we know, for example, there's nowhere near enough um, single bedroom properties uh, in Wales. We know that there are different needs in different parts of Wales and there's still a need for quite a lot of work, I think, to understand um, that better. But it is, yeah, it's an absolutely fundamental need. We're nowhere, you know, we just haven't got enough homes, we haven't got enough of the right type of homes in the right places. And as we move forward, increasingly, we'll take a wider view um, of housing in terms of place making. You know, it's not just about throwing up properties, but it's understanding how it fits in with the transport system, how it fits in with basic services, basic service provision, um, how it benefits overall quality of life. So, um, you know, that sort of local housing um, market assessment process, the local development plan process, all of that needs to come to the fore and it needs to be much more about place making in a more rounded and um, you know um, intelligent way but um, obviously there are many short-term challenges we need to meet not least still around rough sleeping and homelessness um, you know lots of people in temporary accommodation not enough temporary accommodation and then not enough move-on accommodation to get people out of um, those temporary um, solutions so you know a lot of work to be done but um, you know I always think if we can show we're making some progress then you know um, people understand you can't do everything overnight but they they need to understand that you're serious about making progress you're committing adequate resource to it and they are seeing you know some results in, in their communities
was mi ddi iechyd yn gyda'r bainog, gysi o fraint o fynd i Viena, dwi flynedd yn ôl, a gweld yr hynny ddod yn gwneud yn Viena yn fanno yn enghraifft ag ers 1993, maen nhw wedi bod yn datblygu tai cymdeithasol, maen nhw ddiffyn i'r ychydig o wahanol yn Ewrop i dai cymdeithasol i'r basig yn ôl hyn, maen nhw'n stigma o amgylch tai cymdeithasol yn hyn. Ond yn Viena maen nhw'n datblygu rhai hyn, ac hyd yn oed nôl yn 1993, fase gan rhywun yn cael mat soffer enghraifft, fase nhw'n medru nallan nhw o'i catre a dal tram yn syth i'r gwaith. Fase dansol fel oedd, neu a ddans yn rhan o'r cael mat soffer. Oedd gyda nhw fynediad, ac mae erbyn hyn, mae gyda nhw fynediad at feintydd yn rhan o'r complecs yna. Mae gyda nhw fynediad at ofal i'r hyn oed, at ofal iechyd, mae yna cyndigat yn yn rhan o'r holl beth. Felly mae yw'n gymuned yn ei hun. Ac felly mae tai wedi gofnol yn ôl diffiniad yna fwy na dim ond y tai wedi felly. Mae tai wedi gofnol yn ôl ganolog i'r diffiniad o dai wedi gofnol. Bod yn ateb anghenion llawn rhywun, fel bod rhywun yn medru chwarae rhan i llawn mewn cymdeithas. Ond os ydy rhywun yn cymryd un peth allan o'r ysgwr syma heddiw, y rhyn na ni yn eitiol oed yn hynt sef y progressive realisation yna, Dyna peth bwysig sydd rhaid i ni gael y llywodraeth i dderbyn a dall mae dyna pan fod angen dedd neu cynnwys tai wedi gwneud mewn dedd. Mae'n llywodraeth yn sôn yn iawn am yr angen i dderfu gael gwared ar ddigartrefedd yr enghraifft, i gael gwared ar cysgu'r stryd er mwyn sydd yr rhai fod pobl yn cael mynd yn adai. Ond y byr ydym, os fe sy'n ni'n cael mewn dedd, hawl i dai wedi gwneud, fes y heina i gyd yn disgu mewn i le y tu ôl i ddeddfwriaeth yn mynd i tai wedi gwneud. Oherwydd efo'r progressive realisation, fes y rhai i ddiawd i'r dod e lleol i ddarparwyr tai ddangos sydd maen nhw'n cyrraedd yn nodau yma, a fel rhan hynny, fes y cael gwared ar fi gael trefedd yn rhan gynolog yn hynny. A wan, fes be am relfen ieithyddol, os wedi gwneud â ni ddiddiad, wedi bod yn sôn hefyd am gymunedau lle mae'r lle mae'n adwysedd o bobl yn siarad Cymraeg. Ydy hwnna gallu gweithio fewn diffiniad tai di gwneud? Dwi meddwl bod yn allu weddol i fod yn gweithio fewn diffiniad, ond mae o'n nid diffiniadau yw'r hyn sy'n mynyrru ond y gweithredu sy'n deillio yn ei sgile, a nid dwi ddim yn arbennig bod yn rhai o'r terminoleg dwi ddim yn clywed yn rhan progressive realisation, a mae'n rhaid i ni sicr o rhan sefyllfa Gymraeg Beth oedd yn gadael neu oedd, mae'n rhaid i sicr rhaid tan ei desgrys dros oedi, rhan gweithredu, neu prosesu o'r rath, ac yn sicr o'r dedrau rhaths waith y Cymysiwn y Cymunedau Cymraeg yn benodol, fe bydna fi'n cynnwys rhaid y gwyn, yn sicr dwi'n rhaid i ni'n disgwyl i weld y Cymysiwn, yn rhoi erbyn y llion polisi radical fe adron, sydd ddim yn gwybod dde bynnol ar y broses dedoriaethol er pan o'n bwysig i ffrydio yn angosod gweledig at y mor hir a cael mewn y Cymysiwn yma. Chymryd bod pawb yn iawn na ma'n nod cael yr geiriad yma mewn dedd wedi bod o yna rwain at weithredu. Dwi am sdicio fy'r diffiniad am funud. A jyst gofyn i alitsiad, sut a chi'n teimlo am beth eich chi'n fwyd y diffiniad o dail digonol o fewn cymuned felly? Diolch. Mae'n gwneud y cyd benefit that right to adequate housing brings to the understanding of what housing is, is, is that it, it is very clear that the international law uh, that we, we based our legislation, uh, our draft legislation on, is very clear that housing is much more than just a roof over uh, one's head. I think we, we all know that. Um, it provides you know, a, a definition of what um, adequate means. It talks about all sorts of things, habitability, um, accessibility, access to um, you know community uh, resources. Um, it talks about affordability. You know, uh, that, you know that's a key you know symptom probably of the kind of how financial systems have worked you know uh, against us really and how investment in housing is made. Uh, but also you know the, the key symptom of that is how that affects um, you know all sorts of communities, but younger people especially increasingly older people as well, 
uh, and rural and coastal communities in a, in a very different way, much more pronounced way as well. Um, so, so that definition is um, is very, very broad, and I think what you know that what it also says is that housing or a good home, really, housing you know, sounds like a building um, in a community, is um, is also fundamental to human uh, uh, dignity. Uh, it's, it, it gives people a right to to leave live in, in peace, security, um, and dignity. Um, and I think, you know, if we all had that understanding of housing and backed it uh, by law and action, uh, um, uh, I think uh, we'd probably live in a much more, uh, you know, ha happy world, a much more prosperous world, really. Yeah, and and I think that um, the and the and the 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 convention Nay, a demon diesel in a tremai, Kerais, Soiker, a first Soiker, Rima, Albana Mahano, season, we settle in Yamri, seen a Macabre Soiker, and Celia de Gan Haulia Inico, Haulia Inicolio, Macassaniato Haulia Cminetto, Brizen, the Ace of the Icabres Soiker, as yet he sent at Cambri, Amdalin the Trasjat, Shunglato, Nay, Catu, and at Bordel, England and Wales, and in Nick. I bet you possibly had them, and at her more Senez Olama, or Galdez Borea, especially six years of study at Ram Sandler, bought a Papin Gwyn and Mindy Arwine, Mel Preed, Athers Borea, Gambod Ram Sandler, and she's not to Ram Sandler. I can't look him in the Napa of Francis of the Tasserian, so if you want to have a little John, do you want to have a shot at Tabana? Yeah, sure. Um, well, on the question. Um, it's a very crowded legislative timetable in the Senate at the moment, that's for sure. And we have been told that um, you know lots of legislation is going to have to wait for the next Senate turn because um, there's a whole backlog really that um, needs to be dealt with. But we're not sure of the timings, you know, in terms of um, the white paper and what follows on from that. So we, you know, we need more detail from. From Welsh government, but you know, I think as Alicia was saying, the definition that we've been discussing in terms of the back the builder campaign and committee's work is fairly wide and you know, hopefully all encompassing. So it's not just about individual um, rights, it's, it's much wider than that. And we do always look very closely at what's happening in Scotland as well as further afield as a committee. I mean, Scotland's always an important comparator, isn't it, given devolution and. Uh, you know, um, much that we have in common. Um, but we're all always conscious as well that you, you know, you can only take that so far that Wales has its own individual circumstances that um, have to be factored in and you can't simply transplant something from somewhere else to here. But certainly the whole discussion and debate the campaign is much wider than the individual rights. From West and Equity, we are the Greek and Hedley in a dig, but it that very clear what can be or how he die. Um, Professor, uh, Agma Delos Covino, with the Arrida Vani, it had my can headlot in a dig, but he are side Delos Covino, we value any for him well, the other party of him, and how he died the Colonel Kelly with Reddy, and the Delos Covino. He secured the Cambri or Equity, and he did not from White and Livor with your Olive. The Sunni Bersono would really get well did that for the Athenic of Nino and the Tomorrow, a Hosma Panda Vigal Bethel Ginta, a Kanik Kinta and a Viroy Line in the Senate, or if Gallo are Vodgan and the Argovan Time. I think the Weaver Netherland and Argovan Time, the Basho Kanik and the Argovan Time, the Weaver Netherland. A case of the Argovan the Weaver Netherland make a catastrophe. At an indigweld, the Voriath Calgary, where he might have the Voriath, Morvian Afossi, 
It is absolutely crucial, yes, because a green paper is much more sort of consultative and, um, you know, looking for ideas and so on, whereas the white paper is about what the government will do with the legislation. Um, so, yes, absolutely, um, and, you know, obviously the more views that come forward um, to help you with that white paper, the better, because Welsh Government obviously um, isn't an expert on everything that's happening in all corners of Wales and it relies on stakeholders and communities that feed in to the process with that on the ground experience. So, yes, the white paper stage is absolutely crucial, I think. Dwi am aros efo chi, achos mae'n nhw'n sefyn sy'n mynd ymlaen, ydych chi'n trafod rhai o'r manylion, mae'n un o'r efo sy'n wedi bod yn cael ei drafod, ac os os dwi'n iawn, dwi'n meddwl bod bod yna awydd ar ran Llywodraeth Cymru i weithredu ymlaen â'r hentu teg, a falle rheoli i'r hentu. Felly, John, pam mor bell ydych chi'n meddwl fydd y Llywodraeth yn mynd, pam mor bell ydych chi'n meddwl ddyle yn mynd? It's difficult, isn't it, to know. Um, you know, Welsh Government um, obviously is very concerned about affordability <coughs> in all aspects, affordability in terms of being able to buy, affordability in terms of social rents, uh, affordability in terms of the private rented sector. Um, it has said some things about the private rented sector in terms of having to be very careful to strike the balance correctly because um, you know, there is a concern about driving um, landlords out of the private rented sector and then finding that the housing situation um, becomes worse than it is at the moment. And you know, there was, there's some discussion about the experience in Scotland and how things have, have worked out there in, uh, in those terms. Um, but you know, th this is another, I think, opportunity for feeding in a, a views, you know, because um, this needs to be informed by the practical experience of the moment, really, doesn't it? As well as previously, um, you know, what, what's going on, what the affordability issues are, 
you know, what would constitute a fair rent, um, how much support is available and what could be done to improve uh, the level of support. It, it's certainly absolutely crucial because, um, you know, the cost of living crisis has highlighted it, but, you know, it, it's, um, it's been a long-term concern and it's certainly not one that's going to go away. Well, they said, what the Profiad yn y sector cae, mae ti'n meddwl bod i'n bosib creoli renti a gosgoi y perig na John yn sôn yn yma. Mae si bwlad. Dwi wedi bod hen i gofio trefn yn y chres i weithio i gyn ffestau i'n un a 85. Lle oedd i'n ffynnol i landlord gael tys dysgu'r ffrent teg cyn medru gosod ti. Ac ond dda'n wasanaeth sy'n o'r gion rent yn rhan o'r gynnau sybil gyda'r arbenigedd i wneud yr union bethau yn un awr yn sôn sydd angen i hystoried. Felly wrth gwrs fe allwn ni, mae rhaid cymryd yma'n trwy'n hedig iawn i gywed unrhyw leidydd yn awgrymu bygythu fy neu'n colli landlordydd preifat. Dyna ni ddim yn colli y tai. Mae'r landlordydd yn tynnu allan cyn cwrs nes yw un o'r rhyw pwy sy'n ei gymryd y tai yn y maen. A mae'n gymryd eiraidd wrth fy meddwl, ond yn sefyllfa'r barach na'r rhentu â hyn o bryd, o'r awdiadau dechreuon, cymryd y tai, a mewn trwy'r cymunedol, mae cymryd y cyfle i brynu tai sy'n cael ei ddau tai gan anwyr preifat. I warchod sefyllfa'r tynantiad unigol, ond hefyd i droi yr aset yna yn aset cymunedol. Ond oes yna sicrwydd, os am sicrwydd y byddai yna'n troi'n aset cymunedol a llygoli mae'r thyrwyn arall? Dyna'r problem, dyna'r problem y farchod ymgorydd. Felly, dyna pan i'n ystyn i'n cynigio ni ar gyfer deddeifo, dyw dyn i'n synnu'n bwned hi, yn mynyddu fod o'r problem yn hyn. A dyna pan mae'r rhai o'r camau eraill fel yr esiamglwb dyn i'n clywed yn ddarsyn o'n dda, lle mae cymryd y ddinas ti'n deddu fi, tra'n nŵw sy'n cael y hawl i'n gwrthod y cyntaf ar pob iddo sy'n dod ar werth o fewn i ti'n ogeth nhw. Fel bod gynnyn nhw ddylanwad wedyn i'n yr defnydd sy'n gwneud eu bod eu cymryd yn prynu neu beidio. Felly mae'r rhai di fod yn barod i gael y dylanwad yna ar farchnad i siapio ar farchnad neu wyddwn ni'n parhau gael y drywodaeth yn mynd yn mynd yn mynd. Mae yna reol y rhenti dwi hain yn gynnyn i'n hynny, gyda ewch ni fod yn glir fan hyn. Mae yna ffafriaeth tuag at y sector breifat. Mae yna reol y rhenti yn bodoli yn Nghymru. A mae hynna ar, yn gorwedd ar, yn cymdeithas y tai. Gall cymdeithas y tai ddim codi rhent yn fwy na 600 neu 600 y flwyddyn. Mae yna gap yn mynd. Felly mae'r rheoli rhent yn gweithio yn y sector gyhoeddus. Mae yna orfodaeth yn fwy'n hynny beth dy hynny ddim yn wir yn y sector breifat. Ac mae'r siart y Cymru ar ymwneud yn dangos yn glir fod yn dystiolaeth o rai landlordiad yn cynyddu rhent gant y cant. Dwi wedi gweld o, yn beth o'r eithi, felly mae'r rhent wedi cynyddu 60 y cant yn rhai tai. Felly mae yna gwestiwn wedyn, moesol yn y nhwyneb i ni, ydy hyn yn gywir, ydy o'n iawn fod yna sefyllfa, lle mae rhywun yn medru mewn fewn, a cofi rhent y tu hwnt i beth sy'n rhesymol i'r person sy'n byw yno. Mae'n dan i'n sôn mewn hynna mae'r gyfwng tai. Mae'n rhaid i gael datrysiad hir dymor i'r ar gyfwng tai. Mae hynna'n hollol gywir, a mae hynna'n gymryd, beth bynna'n cenhedlaeth i ni ddod dros yr ar gyfwng yma. Ond wrth yn bod i'n canfod datrys, datrysiad hir dymor, yn anffodus, mae'n rhaid i ni gymryd canfau mwy radical tymor byr, er mwy wedi rafael ar argyfwng presennol mae pobl yn byw wedi ni. A mae hynna'n golygu rheol yn rhentu heddiw er mwy rhoi cyfiawnder a thebwch chi pobl sy'n byw yn y tai yn y heddiw. Ond, mae yn deud dweud fod yn gynhedaeth gynta o rheol yn rhentu, ddod ni weld yn yr unol daleithiau nôl na saith dega wedi bod yn anodd, a ddim o rhywyd yn rhywyd yn llwyddo yn y ffordd o ddim gobeithio. Ond mae'r gynhedaeth newydd o rheol yn rhentu yn gweithio. Glwns yn ei heddiw yn Barcelona bod rhenti wedi disgyn 600 yn yr ardaloedd na lle oedd rhenti wedi rheoli. Os ydrychwch chi ar Rwsia, os ydrychwch chi ar Iseldiroedd, os ydrychwch chi ar Paris, ar Lyon a dinas oedd eraill, mae nhw'n byw yn arw'n indecs lincio y rhent. Hynny ydy'n cysylltu gwerth y rhent efo safon ag ansawl y tŷ. Felly os ydy'r tŷ o ansawl gwael, mae gorfodaeth ar y landlor ddim wella ansawl y tŷ yna cyn bod yn cael cynyddu rhent os dy'r tu ond sy'n da, yna mae fwy o hanner gymryd. Felly mae posib yn ei wneud rhywbeth rwan am hyn, mae gan Gymru y gallu wneud o, ond ar hyn o bryd, mae'r llywodraeth yn ei gwrthio wneud o, dyna pan bod o yn bwysig bod i gweld y papur gwyr ddim yn agor y llywodraeth allan, er mwy gweld os oes yn fel trysiad tymor byr i chi ddim yn problemau mae pobl yn wynebu heddiw. Mae Catrin eisiau 
from there. Um, just to show that really, um, my Wallace now with aid, what do you want to do with the Prunny Thai? Do we need to have a point in the day? Do we need to have a point in the day? Do we need to have a point in the day? Do we need to have a point in the day? Do we need to have a point in the day? Do we need to have a point in the day? Do we need to have a point in the day? Do we need to have a point in the day? Be a dear panel and vessel and Dan, I'm going to know they told him sister because we're going to tell him right devolution of the crown rights. I can read a cause and Ralban, my prisoner, a mint, a short dress and Ralban. Be a thumb a sun yard or Nikal a press or crown rights and do what he can read. I cry gronva or press. I mean, no, my only project I can read. Not just project I tie. Ond projectau yni hefyd, a dyna yn gyrch nesa rhaid o'r cyfiawnd o'r Cytrefi, dan i di ysgrifennu llythyr yn gofyn am um, cross-party support am ys, ar y syniad yna rwan, a dwi eisiau gwybod, os allai rhoi pwys ar y chi rwan, beth o'r hynny rhywbeth fydd plaid, a plaid, la, plaid Cymru a plaid Lafur yn sopotio, os fydd yna. Ewch chi ddal o'ch dŵr ar hwnna, achos dyna, mae hwnna, hwnna, fydd hwnna'n mynd am ei mlaen at, at y ffwng fel yr adran nesaf rhywbodaeth, felly neu'n neu gofio i ofyn o. Ond dwi'n jyst eisiau checa efo alitia ddechar, be, be, be oedd eich chi'n feddwl o'r or, um, syniad o, o reoli rhenti ac yn y blaen a falle beth yw ffordd i'w wneud yn. I can't really say how it should be done because there are a million ways uh, to do it. I think that the interesting, I was really interested to, to hear about Barcelona and the fact that it worked there. We have seen you know, quite a few models where it hasn't worked and it had consequences, so we have to be very careful. I, I totally agree with you, Wallace, that um, you know, whenever there's any change to legislation which affects private landlords, what we hear is that they're going to pull out. Now, if that really do, does happen, we need to be prepared uh, for that and, uh, and, and know what to do with the housing that is left. Certainly not leave it, you know, too much of it to the market forces. I think there is a much more kind of fundamental um, issue that is related to affordability, and I think your question maybe relates to, to it, Catherine, a little bit, is that, it, it, you know, housing is so mortgages and, and, and the cost of housing over the years has become so susceptible to to what the markets are doing. It it was never like that, you know, across Europe really and the world, you know, in the early, let's say, 20th century and, uh, and mid-20th um, uh, century. It has become a, a, an investment um, um, vehicle and there are obviously limited things that we can do here in Wales to control the finance, financial markets at the moment. Um, uh, but we, we should certainly look at measures to to mit mitigate the effects of that. You know, one of the biggest or the biggest uh, uh, property uh, um, investment uh, company, Blackstone, is uh, uh, um, kind of broadening, let's say, their reach and, and their and their markets uh, currently in England, very interested in England, uh, they started investing in, in the social housing sector as well. Uh, but if you read a little bit more about that company, you know, the, the former UN Special Rapporteur on the right to have basically declared the war on them. Um, you know, what they have done to, to millions of, of tenants and house owners uh, uh, across the world really is, is despicable really. So we need to be very careful about um, uh, um, kind of who enters the markets and who controls those those properties that are left, and how think carefully how we can kind of address the more fundamental problem and mitigate against uh, uh, against those uh, kind of financial uh, let's say tools and schemes that are out there. And John, what's the other level of hunger? Do you have a question about what you got the data to be here to take some credit? Do you know? Do you guess? But the time was too much. At the at the time, the market was so panel that the only nature of the country. At the end, it's only a half an hour. Am I right? Because the market was so busy. A real question that's going to be either or. Yeah. No. I think in terms of controls, you know, we we need to have the debate. You know, and then hopefully the white people will 
facilitate that. I don't think you know there's any um, in principled objection from Welsh government, um, certainly none that I'm aware of. As Alicia said, you know, you, you, obviously you have to be careful, and there have there are examples of where those private landlords have, you know, left the sector, and then that's resulted in far fewer properties being available for private rent. And you know, they do tend to sell privately. I mean, you know, maybe there are mechanisms that could address that. I think it's a debate, you know, we need to have, but, um, you know, we're all in favour of keeping rents at a reasonable level. So it strikes that balance where, you know, you've still got uh, an adequate supply of private rented properties at the right standards, but rents are affordable. Um, there are issues around the local housing allowance, and, you know, that, that's absolutely crucial. It hasn't at all kept pace with inflation, and that's made it unaffordable for many of the more vulnerable people in our communities in terms of rent levels. So, um, you know, as ever, there's a need to come at it from a UK government level as well as a, a Welsh government level, but what we can do in terms of UK policy is certainly limited at the moment, but we might get a change at the next general election. Um, yeah, I think devolving the Crown Estate, uh, absolutely. Yeah, for you know the reasons uh, you mentioned and many, many others. Is the question we've got in there that was right come with it? My own policy, you know, yes, you know, that my political passion can be a good idea. I keep the connection now with you. Sit here, man, I can look at just the video and vote for him for your idea. Well, my question is, I'm going to get an answer with him. I'm not at Ramote Sarah, I'm going to get a small period on there. You have a simple sum of the dear Hemsi, Hilichel, or problem at the Nach and the horse vice, but he. A key member of the city, but it's got in the sun and the study that he got one, but I'm then, but I'm not happy or die. And of course, my question got his sit off or die. I sit a fool, see me that pardon, no, for his in the knock your arm, no. I do not that I learned, if he got so petamia did or got over the Guahano, Phil, Sine, or Annog, a delay de Tai, a go, 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 well, I think about on 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 in case you want to know, but that's what the data is that the people are not aware of it or possibly yet. Yeah, I think that the whole thing that the whole book best political words is in the end. Do we know maybe if we know that some of the choice set or a more than we think they are not. Do we know if the people are devil yes? The WF and help in our world. Um, Sint, I, Sint, the WF and help well, in our world. Well, you can come at all, but I don't know if you're going to do that. I think it's all that we're in a row of our five organ group here coming into how we're going to feel. You can press the billion to your daily life, or either at the billion coming into our world. See, then we're going to give it to us to know if we're going to come into a premium on our Sapan, but we're going to go to this. Uh, inigolyddiau ffyrdd it would be not on even your apple or have a third to sleep with Kinta or a man, but that I'm going to give a model there. See who is so old if he pretty catcher, see for high for that. I do not have a model there well, I'm going to lift a tear more by saying, because he know what time and Kali Daplugi is worthy. Margamina Dalk will feel that's about here at a time now, but we're not with the Kali Kali or stock time for the other. And then I'll ban of the Grand Magali Cray from the dear of the ban. Dim ond 10 miliwn o fynd o'r oedd y gronfa neu ddechrau. Yn sgil, llywodraeth yr Alban yn mynd i gymlaen gyda'r blaid werdd, mae y gronfa neu fod i gynnydd i 20 miliwn yn mynd diwedd tymor, presennol, senedd yn yr Alban. Mae'n ei destun gwariant ar dalu, dydy hwnna ddim yn sôn anferth o gwbl, dwi'n hollol ddyddiog, be byddai llywodraeth cymryd bod o hyd i symud y cyfateibol yn eithafwyd y gweithiau cyfnod presennol ar ôl doriadau. Ond byddai ddim o'n wneud dydi dadgol potensial o cymuned eu hunain i godi'r arian. 
oedd yn ddod yn cydweithredol, y thynnu clywyr yn dda fe, sy'n dychyn pwrio, gallu unigolion a thyriodd i fynd ar y cyd i gael y ddafian yna, gyda symud o garantu gan lafodraeth. Neu bod e'n fenter gymunedol i hun yn datblygu ac yn anrheoli yr eiddo yna yn y tymor hir neu'n rhaid sy'n roedd ar defnydd y gymuned. Mae'n gynnyn nhw gymaint o'r rogiad bellach fel gwlad o fentrau sy'n wedi mentro, sy'n wedi codi ar ein yn llyno trwy gyfradd o'r iadau, sy'n wedi gallu mynd i gael bentrau iadau. Felly dwi'n credu mae'n gynnyn ni yr esiamplau yna os ydych chi'n drosglwyddo atlosu a egni a'r potensial yna i ymwneud o'r ochr taith oliadwy bydd hwn wedi gwrdroi o sefyllfa ar ddau'r gwlad. John, yn fyddech chi'n cytuno bod y pythennau gyd yn bosibiliadau ac y byddai o werth i cynnwys nhw mewn deddf? No, absolutely. I think it's really frustrating that um, you know, the model of new house building, for example, that we have in Wales, and uh, well, you know, far beyond Wales, uh, is very formulaic um, and it, you know, it's what suits the, the volume house builders really, isn't it? it what's, it's what makes them um, the maximum amount of profit. Uh, and it, I don't believe it needs housing need, uh, you know, it's, it's not varied enough, it doesn't do enough for the right type of housing in the right place. We need, uh, you know, a much greater variety of, um, of house building, many more smaller house builders, and whilst government has promoted some particular schemes to foster that and, and develop that, but it, it's pretty small scale, and there are different models, you know, as, we, as we've heard of, those community land trusts and others, cooperative housing, but again, it's pretty small scale, isn't it? Um, so, you know, it'd be really interesting to hear ideas on how that can really be upscaled and, you know, make a much bigger contribution. At the moment, uh, it, it's it's far too limited in terms of, um, you know, who's doing the, the house building and the, and the development um, and the different models and um, different types of housing involved. Yeah, we need um, a multiplicity of uh, new players in the market. Well, this is what you know. I'm not saying well, you know, I'm not doing that in there. This is going to cost them. It's going to be a mistake. Well, this is the. Just a bit more there for an activist of the John and Lena Skinner and the team of the dinner. That do you sample it? I'm hearing you. We're going to hear the little bit of chicken and dog singing with three young girls to see the band. I'm going to hear the pool. Yeah, the capacity and the big gift technical. Ond ni'n meddwl gweithio gyda grwpau cynnwys yn lleol, a mwyn gwrisio datblygiadau mewn pentrefi unigol. A weithiau, mae'n eiddo'n yn aros yn ysgogaeth yr CLT Sirol, weithiau, mae'n eiddo'n yn cynnwys ysgwyddo i'r grwp lleol yn dyfynnu ar i dymuniadau nhw. Felly mae'r rhaid i rhywun rhole i'r soddi i greu y capacity i dyfu y sector. Nych chi fadau chi roi gwers hansgu, y gymdeithas da i gynta nes i weithiau ddiri oed, Yr a teitl mawr eiddo, Secondary Housing Association to Wales. A fydd yn y Secondary Housing, sy'n sefydlwyd y corff yna, er mwyn helpu datblygu cymdeithas y tai cymunedol ledled de Cymru. Felly, doedd eri oedd yn fwriad y corff yna i fod yn erchnogi ac yn rheoli cartref unen er wrth yn y diwedd, ond yn hydrach sefydlu ni fyrdd yn y tai, yr arbenigedd dod ar gefnogaeth ymarferol, tan bod y cymdeithas y tai llyol yna, yn tyfu bwynt, lle mi oedd e'n nhw'n gallu cyflogi hynna. Lle mae'n gynnyn i'r model yna, mae'n gynnyn i'r siambles sydd i'n llwyddo, mae'n sisio bod y wyllus a'r cyflogi yn ariannol i'r oedd bethau mynd i lle. Iawn, yn un, os ydych chi'n ei gweithio chi, a gyda chi'n ei gynnwch iawn i fynd, plis? Diolch fawr yn y cynnyrydd, gael y ffari yn gweithio yn Cymru. Na'i lle o rhoi hwn mewn i'n gwestiwn, ond fydd o'n ddau clywed eich sylwad eich chi os bosib pawb ar y panel. Un darn o'r ateb sydd ddim wedi cael ei trafod heddiw rili ydy yr angen i adeilad i tai yn cefn glad Cymru. Ac fel rhan o'r trafodaeth yna, mae'n ddgwrs mewn bwysig i ddeall yr wahaniaeth rhwng adeilad i tai yn cefn glad ar gyfer pobl cefn glad, ond hefyd adeilad i tai, y stadau newydd yn yr un sir ar y pobl sydd yn cefn glad. Mae'n wahaniaeth Reit fawr o ran yr iaith a'r cymuned cymglad yn hydrach na'r pentrefoedd rili sydd sy'n falle yn agos iawn. Ac fel rhan o'r ateb hynny, wrth gwrs, mae angen hyblygrwydd i fewn i polisi yn cynllunio. Yr enghraifft yn un 
mae'r rheolau newydd treth ar gyfer gosod holiday lets yn cael effaith mawr ar ffermwyr sydd wedi argyfeirio mewn i'r maes yma. Ac mae angen i'r polisi yn cynllunio gadael i'r dynnwyd yn blyddio'r tai yna fel tai, tymor hir yn ei tai llawn amser o sgrifio di. Ac hefyd yn ail, mae'n bwysig i wneud yn haws i ffermwyr a dyladu tai bwrdiadwy yn cefnglad yn y gorred. Er enghraifft, mae'n rhaid i cofio, mae gen ffermwyr plant sydd falle yn gweithio at y fewn i'r maes am y ddyddiaeth mewn ffordd wahanol yn y busnes teuluoedd yna. Neu, wrth gwrs, falle maen nhw'n rhoi i ddeg at y cymuned mewn ffordd wahanol hefyd. So, mae angen i'r polisi cynllunio ac yw'n cydweld hyn. Rwy ni eisiau neud sylwyr yna, Magwan. Os gael ddechrau gyda'r pwynt yn y canol o ti ddweud gan y rhan lletiau gwyliau a'r ffermydd yn sylw iawn a lle ni gael sgwrs hir am hynny. Ond y pwynt yn gwyddo'r sylfrino fan hyn ydy mae'n sen yr llywodraeth bod nhw ddim yn cymrodi ffermydd i ffarmio a bod ffermydd yn digorfod ar all gyfeirio'r mwy yn mynd i ni rhywbeth sydd ddim bod fewn i skill set. Nid ydyl pan mae'r gwyliau ydy ffermydd ond cynhyrchol i'r bwynt. Felly, mae angen i ni weld fwy o gymogaeth yn mynd i am eithf, er yn mwyn gwneud bod mae'n fod yn eithaf cynhyrch i'r bwynt. Ond ar y pwyntau hanach, mae garth yn gwneud pwynt arbennig o bwysig yna. Mae'n berfi law i fethiannau yr LDP yn y system gynllunio sydd hynny. System gynllunio sydd cofiwch yw'n ôl i bwynt ffred yn gynharach sy'n syliedig ar ddeddfwriaeth o Loegr yn ôl ar ddechrau naw degau. A mae'r system gynllunio yna yn methu un cymuned yna. Achos does na ddim hyblygu wyth yn ddyfon i'n beth. Mae o'n siliedig ar ddata, yn bresennol, ar LDP bresennol, yn siliedig ar ddata hen, methedig, anghywir. Ac mae hefyd yn siliedig ar yr angen i dyfu economi. Mae hwn ar beth anodd i bobl ddau allu gychwyn, ond mae llywodraeth wedi cyn cynllunio y tai fel teclyn economaidd ac yn sirio twf economaidd yn siliedig ar y gallu adeilad y tai a dod â pobl fewn i weithio yn ardaloedd ar bennig. Dyna pan bod bod gynnwch chi'n hanfwyo ddarbygiadau LDPs rôl trefi mewn ardaloedd trefol a bod yr ardaloedd gwledig yn cael eu hepgor. Gwendid arach yn yr LDP a dwi'n gwybod hyn o brofiad fel cynhorydd sir gynt ydy fod gan ddarbygwyr llais llawer i gri yn y broses o alliogi cynllun datblygu, lleoli datblygu. Pan oedd yn un rhan yn cynghorydd sydd yn cymorth sydd ddim beth, oedd yn ein gwneud adolygiad o'r LDP yno, ac mond oedd na yn cynghorydd cyhoeddus, a mond pymtheg oedd wedi rhoi mewn bod yn cynghorydd cyhoeddus yno. Fi oedd un fel cynghorydd sydd, ond y bedod eich saith cynghorydd ar y sydd. Mond un cynghorydd ar wneud fi, a oedd yr unig pedwar arall yn ddarblygwyr tai. Felly nhw i llais nhw oedd yn cael eu garnio, oedd yn cael eu ystyried wrth bod nhw'n asesu'r cynllun datblygu ac yn mynd i'n ddarblygu'r cynllun newydd. Felly be da'n eisiau wneud i newid ar ddeddf gynhyrch? Mae'r rhaid sgrag yn llio. Ddeddf Town Country Plan yn ynghanol 2015 sydd sail yr hyn sydd gynnwn i'n hynny. Mae'r rhaid sgrabio'r LDPs presennol Ac rhywbeth oedd wales wedi cyffwrdd ar yn hynt, mae'r angen lle cael system llawer iawn mwyn hyblyg, lle mae y gallydd i gynllunio a datblygu tai a chymuned yn siliedig ar ddata byw o'r gymuned. Yn un debyg iawn i hwyluswyr tai yn gwledig sy'n gynnwn i ar hynny o bryd, lle mae nhw'n casglu tystiolaeth o adnabod anghenio'r cymuned ac yn dweud be ydy yr angen yn y cymuned yn anedrych yn waen am y ffermynedd nesaf. Ac os fysa chi'n gwneud cynllunio'n siliedig ar ddata byw cywir, yna fysa chi hefyd yn cael gwaed ar nid bys. Achos yr hyn fysa chi'n gwneud fel rhan o'r system cynllunio, ydy dweud nid bys adeiladu deg ti ym hen y groes. A rhywun ym hen y groes, ydy da ni'n eisiau deg ti. Well, actually, mae'r deg ti yma mynd i Mrs. Jones, a ma, Mr. Davis, a ŵyr Mrs. Thomas. A mae'r hyn yn adnabod yr angen ac yn dweud dyma bydd ar ei wneud yn darparu yr angenion lleol. A dyna dyna'r gwendid sbrinol yr hyn o bryd, dydy'r system gynllunio ddim wedi lunio amgylch angen cymunedol, wedi lunio o amgylch anghenion datblygwyr a'r economi. 
Ti ho una persona sola e trovo adesso ma a per cui non servi in dote. Ma io per una sola o se voglio travolgere un po' di Vedi, io ho detto che non si può fare una cosa che non si può fare. Non si può fare una cosa che non si può fare. Non si può fare una cosa che non si può fare. Non si può fare una cosa che non si può fare. Non si può fare una cosa che non si può fare. Non si può fare una cosa che non si può fare. Non si può fare una cosa che non si può fare. Non si può um, yeah, so I mean, our, our uh, uh, draft bill and uh, what the Green Paper certainly contains and uh, 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 any sort of Welsh legislation around right to adequate housing that, that we thought about the Coalition uh, does not specifically talk about um, planning, but um, I previously mentioned that concept of using, it's not a concept, it's a legal requirement to use maximum available resources. Now that does not only mean, it means various things. Um, it means, for example, that uh, the Welsh Government would have to assess the impact of its budget uh, on housing much more stringently on people's housing rights, and that could be challenged uh, again in law. Uh, but it also means using all available resources, and one of those resources is, um, is land. Uh, and uh, uh, so it does require to look at all the systems that basically have impact on uh, people's um, housing rights. And if those systems don't work, uh, then the right to housing would enable, you know, to would enable us to challenge that in a, uh, a stronger way than uh, than at the moment. You know, it's diffi very difficult to change systems that have been working in someone's favour, you know, for a, 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 for a very long time, um, isn't it? Uh, but a legis legislative right could could certainly help. John Mach Pishgorhi, with the Argomazo Blight Carl, who is swear travel and then a tap the big year with swear for Thai Vedics, like in some sense in the car, who is swear Thai travel. Mach and the three eyes ever seen at a dead vegan, so now a sassy Christian or baby onion, now coming net, a quit in Silio in the real gunshin that's good to be our honey. I think, you know, at the moment what we need to see is the evolution of the, um, the LDP, the local development plan process and the local um, housing market assessments. And I think Welsh Government has been pushing at that, um, you know, to make them um, more about place making, um, you know, to look at um, what makes the quality of life in the round. Um, and you know you have to get local authorities on board for this and it is very patchy isn't it from a local authority to another in Wales in terms of their capacity and how efficient they are in terms of their LDPs whether they've got up to date LDPs there's a lot of work to be done um, but you know it, certainly from Welsh Government it's more about evolution than revolution in terms of um, you know the current systems but Sechin derbyn os fi'n deall y ddadl yn iawn yn bod y pwysleis ar hyn o bryd yn ormod o pwysleis ar beima datblygwyr isio yn hytrach na beima cymuner i angen. Ie, no, absolutely, no, definitely, um, the developers, are, the, you know, they're, they're in a position to drive um, what happens, um, they've got the land banks, they develop land when it suits them in terms of the market um, often enough profitability at particular times. So it's very much about their needs and you know lots of them are big companies and big players. Uh, and as we said earlier, there's not enough um, competition in, in the system or variety. So it, it puts them in a very powerful position and that, that isn't good uh, in terms of meeting housing need. Um, in terms of the rural housing enablers, um, you know, I think we have felt as a committee in the evidence that we've taken that they've, they've done an important and valuable job and in fact, we're talking about extending that approach to urban um, areas in Wales. Um, so, you know, that where you can have a more intelligent assessment of local housing need on that local basis, you know, whether it's a rural area or an urban area, that does actually um, put you in a much more powerful position as a national government or a local government or a provider of housing to know what need is and what needs to be provided. So, you know, I think it, it's more about um, evolving the current systems and making them more intelligent in their approach and having more um, competition in the provision uh, side of things 
than you know completely new systems. Um, I have to apologise, I'm afraid, and, and leave now. But you know, it, this is a debate that um, is going to be ongoing, isn't it? And it's a very valuable one. And it's really good to see that events like this are being organised, you know, to feed in to the process at such an important time. I think so. Well done. <laughs> with local communities. In fact, it's a, it's a key part, uh, a legal requirement of the right to housing to co-design solutions together with uh, communities uh, because those solutions and those answers uh, exist. Uh, I really like, again, quote from a former UN Special Rapporteur on the right to adequate housing who said that, you know, right to housing turns people from passive charity recipients to rights holders and that really changes um, the conversation. Uh, you know, in Canada, where they introduced right to housing a, a good few years ago and now, they have established housing rights advocate, for example, a body that uh, uh, um, ad engages with communities and advocates for communities. Um, we talked about kind of scalability and capacity of, you know, small-scale solutions versus large-scale solutions. Um, I think, you know, what, what could we potentially do is, uh, we heard a little bit today about uh, the Innovative Housing Programme and the Minister, you know, our Minister has been very clear that this has been sort of used to test new ways of developing housing, delivering housing and to um, uh, uh, perhaps scale up those that really uh, work, especially around decarbonisation. Why couldn't we do that, you know, uh, uh, for community groups, uh, uh, test out and fund and support you know, maybe small scale solutions and uh, 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 scale, up, scale up those that uh, work. Um, yeah. Oes na'n bethau ar y dedd wedi, mae'n nifer o bobl yn ystod y dydd wedi sond, mae'n litsia wedi sond am wneud y defnydd gorau ar dyletus ydy wneud y defnydd gorau o adnoddeg yn y blaen, da'n iddi gweld sond am wneud defnydd o iddo sy'n bod yn barod yn y trach na gadeiladau newydd ac yn y blaen. Oes na'r eiro i'r rhywbeth mewn papur gwynnau ddeddf yn gosod yn fath o ddyletswydd ar lwodraeth a gael dweud o'r ddechreol ac yn y blaen i gadw at yr egwyddor yna y defnydd gorau, y noddau, y defnydd gorau o iddo ac yn y blaen. Eto, mae'n mwyn gynta'r bolis wedi'n dweud. O'r bolis, gyda. Sure. Well, mae'n ato fi'r pwynt yna, hefyd yn mynd i fi'n nhw ddod â'r cwestiwn yn blaen orol yn anodd yn plygu ngein glad. Heb, dwi'n sydd â dde. To be the from my policy in Zimbabwe, I think with a whole different guy. Man, I think you believe I either have from my policy in Zimbabwe. I can be not all the best in the Guru to have a continuous chain in place plans and a dog benef. And in the way, my whole priority per five, get that in the Guru to do this, sit a bind at that so you get an associated cabinet or you have. Ond mae'n laes i gymunedau wedyn ni, pan mae'n canlyniadau gwaith yn ei wneud, wrth yn ei drosu, wrth yn ei wneud, i mewn i gynrhyniau lleiaf sydd yn rechnogaeth y gymuned, a mae'n atyfolrwydd y gymuned am y gweithredu. Felly, na sydd hyn i'r cwestiwn hynt, yw, o ran y sector amaethyddol neu'r diwydiant amaethyddol bobl sy'n ddibynno ar y diwydiant yna, Dwi'n meddwl bydd o rhoi awn i'r siample i'n mynd i'n dda'n ei bod yna ar y fideo o'r yn y dystiolaeth sy'n i'n gallu hel yn y Cymru. Yw creu bod o'r ddarpen parc yn y Brasewi, sy'n ei gwaith gyda Phyfyr Ifanc i'r dweud ar gynllun cymunedol, ond yn benodol i ddarparu ar gyfer bobl o'r sector amaethyddol. O'n i'n gyfer wych, y mae'n arw diwedd i anwr yn yr ardal yna, yn fod yn rhaid hai dan o dyn amaethyddol yn hwyso datblygiad o'r fath gyda'r sicrwydd o rheoleth safle rheolaeth y tai yna yn ni fod yn nhw'n nhw'n gymuned yna yn y tymor hir. A pwynt ola, cymuned at hwylisio tai credig, dwi'n siŵr bod yna lot o fod yn stafell yna yn cynhyrfu mot am data. A dwi ddim yn talu dyroed ar bwysig yn y ffyrdd. Ond o brofiad gweithio gyda hwylisio tai credig yn y gyfnodol llewyn, dwi sigrwyd o'n rhywyswyr i'w sefyd i'r ffynnas gyda'r gymuned, yn ein hyder y gymuned, a dal y darparu 
over time, and at tip on you can be there to let him need get that to my salary. You might all have a lot of democracy for us to dig it. Oscar, just the mystery of the day that he will explain. Of course, what did we have in music? On the day of the off, we did what we had to do. But we did have a dreams in Catania. We did our nickel work in Eduardo in Barcelona. Dwi mae sylwau bod hyn cyn bod hyn datblygu deddfwriaeth hyn, cyn bod hyn datblygu polisiau ydy cael y data cywir. Ac ar hyn o bryd, mae'r data sy'n gynnwys i'n Nghymru yn ddiffygio. Dydyn ni ddim yn clir efe, 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 pwy sy'n berchen pa dir ble. Dydyn ni ddim yn clir o ran twyf poblogaeth ar hyn o bryd. Felly mae cael y data cywir yn arwain at bolisi cywir sydd wedyn yn ateb y gael. Felly mae'n rhaid i'n gychwyn wrth yn traed. Gan Barcelona a'r sylfa, oedd gen i'n nhw oedd yn ymgweithio'n agos yn y prifysgolion, sisio dweud trwy'r papur gwyn wrth lywodraeth oedd o ddeudodau Cymru neu rhywbeth tebyn? Rhyn, Alicia? We certainly need better data, you know. Uh, there's uh, uh, been a campaign for, for a while and a call for, um, for example, for a um, housing housing survey in Wales. We don't have that or really. well, annual housing survey or something that is at least done regularly, you know. One thing that we, we uh, for example, example, in Taipa, we're, we're a, a, an equality charity. One thing that we don't know about at all is um, really what is the, the need for accessible housing for disabled uh, people and older people who have physical uh, impairments, um, you know, in the near future and in the uh, kind of longer term. We don't have that. We could, we, we cannot predict it at the moment. So how are we supposed to plan and build for, I don't know, wheelchair accessible homes, for example, or um, you know, adaptable homes and so on, if if we don't have that. So certainly there is a, a need, and we have we had some we had some noises right from the Welsh government that that might be uh, done in the future. But certainly I think investment in data, data is key uh, um, these days, isn't it? Um, you know, I, I don't think they actually invested that much in it in Barcelona. From what I could see, 150,000 euros what was a, a, a year. That, that can't get you that much, but clearly it has worked and it was helpful. So, yeah, I think any investment and focus on data would be um, key. Um, yeah, work with university, uh, work, work with big data people as well. Do you share some of the points you well, we can see here with the God you say this and yet I can use middle line to an at at we can commit tyrant on the bend that you're not die per knock guys at a little word or per the fear and graft in a million to be bobo leo the mission and city revolution in the pernocity but if you have a tip you're not around in there I will listen up with us back not going to be fast so and the track number of the guard head a llai glywed bobl rwan yn deud fydda i'n cofios. Mi eisiau gweithio'n hi, felly fydda i'n cael pris salach. A llai weld glywed ffermwyr cerrydigion wrthi rwan yn ddeud yna. Ie, ond o'n i'n dyna beth i'n bod dweud marchnau dy goed. Ie, mae tir ac iddo yn ddyngu yn ei blis mae'n mynd lawr yn ei blis. Yn ei dwi'n derbyn yn fwy yn bod â gwestiynau yn un o'r impact ar brechogion taith rhywbeth, a mae'n ei ofn nid cyfnod yn gweithio daith. Dydatrys hwnna. Cymru fod yn ei droi cynigion gerbon i gywirro y diffygion yn y system nawr lle mae'n gynnu fy'n bobl heb unrhyw o beth i allu cael cartre a ffordd adw yn prynu yn ei cynnyfyn ar effaith nhw'n cael ar y gynnyd y hanach ac yn sgilyddu ar sefyllfa'r gyllau. Dyna yn cynsyrnu, dy bwy ddim yn esgusodi i ffaith yn ein cynnig rhywbeth all fod yn ddadleol, ond yn ei cynnig e achos dy bwy ddim yn gweld unrhyw ddatrysiad polisi yn cynnig cynnig gan unrhyw blaid rhydyddol i fynd i'r afon a y broblem fwyaf sy'n gwneud fi'n cymryd hynny. A beth am y syniad yma yma dara soniol i a am y syniad o'r taima sy'n y canol felly, rhwng tai rent, a ma tai'n gwneud aso yng Ngwedi Twyddau yn dimyn dyn bethau ar gyfer bod sy'n meddwl ffordio ddim byd arall, sy'n meddwl cael ddim byd arall, ond sy'n mae dau yn y canol sy'n yn rhaid i bobl i prynu am yn bain, beth am y syniad yn un a unan? Y tŷn ystyrni nhw morlu yn trafod hyn. Y man cychwyn, gydawch chi'n fod yn glir eto ar hyn, ffenomen yn lle ddiweddar ydy y syniad yma bod rhaid cael perchnogaeth ar eiddo. Tan y saethig yn dod o ddim yn rhywbeth oedd yn bodoli yn hymryd fel ffenomen yn fyddwr a 
awydd y mae i'n berchen gyda ewch nifyn o'r egwyddor y craidd yr angen i gael to ewch ben rhywun yn nôl mwy o addas y lleni ac achasol i'w anhenio nhw. Dyna dyna egwyddor craidd fan hyn. Rwan, o ran perchenogaeth ti, os ystyriwch chi y broses o brynu ti yn y drefn gyfarafol gorllunol sy'n cynnwys i am rhedden ar hyn o bryd, os dych chi heddiw mae mynd i brynu ti sy'n ar y farchnad am drych a mil, erbyn y diwedd y daith na fwch chi wedi talu yn morges i ffwrdd heblo, a fwch gynnwys i gyfarfod parad, mi fyddwch chi wedi talu yn hell dros feiliwn o filoedd am yr eiddo yna. Cymharwch chi hynny efo cael ti rhad drwg gydaethas dai o'r ansawdd gorau posib a'i rhentio, a mi fyddwch chi wedi talu llai na hanner miliwn dros gymod eich oes chi a'r genhenedd nesaf am yr eiddo yna. Felly, mewn termau ariannol, mae'n gwneud synwyr i Gymru Fyndadu i adeiladu a darparu tai cymdeithasol i ateb yng nghenion cymru er mwyn gallu o'r cyn pobl i fyw mewn tig efo urddas yn 25 ac os mae dewis yr unigolyn yn awedyn yn di mynd o di cymdeithasol, di cyngor, di cyhoeddus i di preifiad, yn y mae'n gallu yn ogyn nhw oherwydd mae'n rent sy'n cael ei osod mewn ti cyhoeddus llawer yn rhatach a mwyn chi arbed i pres er mwyn prynu yn y dymodol. O mae'r cwysg felly mae'n rhaid yn ei adeiladu tai cymdeithasol ar sgil nad ydyn nhw wedi gweld ers yr 1940. Dyna'r bwyd gyda'i wneud hynny, mae'n rhaid i gymhorau cymuned a chyff cyhoeddus, cymhorau sydd Cymru a chyff cyhoeddus Cymru, ddangos pa dîr sydd gyda nhw, rhyddhau y tîr yna i adeiladu tai, cadw'r tîr o dan bechnogaeth cyhoeddus. Gwendid Cymru ydy'n bod ni'n wlad gymharol glawd yn ariannol. Felly sydd dyna ni'n mynd i ateb hynna. Does gan Lywodraeth Cymru ddim yn pres. Ar hyn maen ni'n mynd i wneud felly, ydy edrych ar sydd mae'n dynnu pres newydd fel i adeiladu'r tai. I wneud hynny allwn ni edrych ar pensiynau cyhoeddus, pensiynau prifysgolion, pensiynau cynghor a sir, pensiynau iechyd. Mae pensiynau cyhoeddus Cymru ar ben ei hun yn gyfwerthu biliau neu bunoedd. Mae pump y cant o bod pensiwn cynghorau sir Cymru yn biliwn y bunoedd yn unig. Felly gellir defnyddio'r pres yna neu o rymuso banc tatblygu Cymru defnyddio banc tatblygu Cymru i fenthig pres, dod â pres newydd fewn i adeiladu'r tai o dan reolaeth cymdeithasau tai efo'r tîr o dan berchnogaeth gyhoeddus rhoi cytundeb 30 mlynedd, 40 mlynedd i'r partio pensiwn yma, mae nhw'n cael yr arian yn ôl, a dros nos mewn 30 mlynedd bydd hynna i gyd yn dod nôl i berchnogaeth gyhoeddus. Bydd yn rhoi tai o'r ansawdd gorau posib, pasif haws, i bobl Cymru fyw ynddo er mwy wedyn sy'n fydd yn blaen dau preifiad dros y dyn yn dymuno. Dyna un datrysiad sylw, ac yna mae'r cwestiwn yma y be da ni'n wneud am y bobl na sydd o'r rach yn ennill 30 mil i 70 mil a ddim yn addas i dau cymdeithasol. Wedyn da ni'n edrych ar swistir ac yn edrych ar werth, ond yn dysgu'r gwersi yna ac yn darparu be maen nhw'n alw'n cost rentr, hyn glws yn ei heddiw. Mae posib i Gymru wneud yna, mae'n rhaid ni adeiladu tai o'r cost rental o'r rach hefyd yn rhoi rhan berchnogaeth o dan reolaeth cymdeithasol tai efo arianu trwy'r llywodraeth ar benthygiadau yma, felly mae pobl sydd yn y sector yna rhain 37 mil yn gallu cael mynedau dai, mae'r cyfan cael ei dalu efo pres newydd, tai yn cael ei ddarparu yn ei cyfernu ac o fewn hyn a hyn fyddwn fel maen nhw'n medru berchen o neu rhoed yn ôl. Mae'r atebion yna, ond Yn dyn yn wyllus yno, mae rhaid ni gael y blaid mewn llywodraeth er mwyn gwrthu hyn ymlaen fy swyddwyd. A oes angen dyfwriaeth i hynna? Byddai fo'n hefyd petai rhywbeth fel hynna mewn dyfwriaeth? Does dim angen dyfwriaeth ar gyfer hynny, mae posib ni weithredu hynny rhywbeth hyn. Ond mae'r ddefwcsynnau'r mae'r cael dyfwriaeth yn dwi'n fod rhaid ni gael tai digonol i bobl, yn mynd i gyflymu'r broses yna llawer iawn i dymio'r fodi y llywodraeth a llywodraeth leol i weithio tygad yn ôd yna. Reid, dyma eich cyfle ola chi a chithau i rhoi rhoi sylwadau i gloi. Oes yna rhywun arall? Ddydd yn gyfnod, ddydd yn gyfnod, ddydd yn gyfnod. Steve Jones, um, uh, Arbor Consulting, Kin, Kimmer, Rhedor, Tai, a group 
ei barchydd. Um, just i cytuno fy be mae hwn wedi dweud. Dydy o ddim mae wedi cael ei wneud yn barod yn Lloegr. Mae Wakefield Council wedi wneud o mae Greater Manchester Pension Fund wedi wneud o wedi fysoddi Pension Fund. Hydrach na tobacco, na oil, na rhywbeth arall. Roi'r arian i mewn i cymuned lleol. Benthig yr arian i cydwys o tai neu i ffactories, tai i creu gwaith gwyrdd Passive House ar sgeil. Stephen Bledsoe, uh, National Residential Landlords Association, and I don't want to make myself unpopular in the room. However, uh, I am duty bound to say, to ask really, if you're going to push for rent controls, be careful how you do so. Uh, legislation may not be the answer. ONS data has shown that for the last 12 years, rents in Wales have risen slower than any other part of the United Kingdom and at less than inflation. Wales is now higher than any other part of the United Kingdom at nearly 2% and there were two big spikes. The month that the Rent in Homes Wales Act was implemented and the month that the Green Paper on Rent Controls came out. The NRLA wants a thriving PRS for all, where good landlords provide good properties for good tenants. Be careful where you go with rent controls. I'm always available to talk and discuss our research, but we all want a good PRS. And I just urge caution. Thank you. I mean, we, we talked a little bit about uh, red controls uh, already. I think that, the, and we talked about data as well. I think data is key, you know, where, where both our organisations are on the um, working group, working on the, uh, advising on uh, the work for the Green Paper. And one thing that um, that we, we can't see is the, is the data, you know. And you, you will provide uh, some, some data uh, uh, through your uh, membership from private landlords. Welsh Government will have other data. Uh, and then there's huge gaps um, uh, in between. Uh, I think it's, uh, uh, you know, we struggle to actually provide a response about rent control because we, we, we simply don't know what the structure of the private uh, 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 rent sector in Wales is and what, it's, it's very, very difficult to predict what specific measures would do uh, to specific parts of that sector. I mean, I certainly think that, you know, situations like um, I don't know, doubling the rent, uh, uh, um, increasing it, uh, you know, by a huge amount, that should certainly be uh, prevented, you know, after, after all, you know, we're talking about human rights here, you know, uh, these are people's homes, they're not just properties or, or assets, and I think, you know, most of the good landlords um, will appreciate that. Uh, but I, I, would, uh, I would say we need much more uh, data and much better data um, to be able to predict really and plan of what rent control, specific models of rent control uh, would do. Uh, however, you know, I mean, all in favour of, uh, of keeping housing um, affordable, definitely. Do you have any other issues that you want to try to do with your new or pen draw? Is it all this kind of reaching a piece or what have you been doing? Is it in the cover of the summer? Um, well, it's a big no. My name is Patrick Gwyn, but I'm a member of the system. I'm a member of the perspective. I'm a member of the system. I'm a member of the system. I'm a member of the system. I'm a member of the process here of the great system. I'm a member of the 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 Sydd yn atebol i anghenion yn cymuned. Yn eiam pobl i fan hyn yn hydrach na march na dai sydd mod ar hyn o bryd yn atebol i arian ac i ddadlygwyr. Ac galitia, sylwa dy glai. I think white paper should be very di different from the green paper, you know, as the name suggests, and uh, recognise housing as a human right, not talk about the path to an aspiration to have adequate uh, housing for all, and recognise uh, that right as a bedrock for for um, and a fundament for um, everything else. Really. Yeah, well, the other thing I want to mention is that Galicia, 
Diolch ych chi sam gymryd rhan o gobeithio bod y sesiwn wedi bod o werth yn bwysig cach fyth, gobeithio bydd yna bapur gwyn gwerth chweil a bod y broses yma wedi fel helpu gyfraniad hynny.